welcome, welcome. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, what the fuck's going on? I expected a late night show with gratuitous sex scenes and foul language, but instead I'm confronted with a bastard fish at the bottom of a canal, then worry not, punters. It's time for Karaoke Fish Tank, the show that's a piece of piss to understand. I'm your host, DJ Vince Finn, and together we're going to be straining our soft palates as we sing along to some smashing songs. If you're feeling really adventurous, you might go and grab your mum's vibrator right now, but only if you're using it as a pretend microphone. So, let's get this show on the road. Now's your chance to bellow your lungs out and show everybody what sort of a groovy fucker you really are. So put down those pot noodles, loosen your pants, and sing along with Travis. How did that feel, eh? First time. Have a cracked your karaoke cherry. You want to do it again, don't you? Course you do, you dirty badges. Next, we've got five young funsters who are very popular with the under threes and confirmed bachelors. I'm talking about steps, of course. They've taken a timeless classic from the Bee Gees and made it sound almost, but not quite, just like the original. Just watch the way H waggles his head in this video. He's such a cheeky sex monkey. So enjoy. Try not to have any impure thoughts of any of the members of the group. Leave that to me. Oh, H. Did you know the group played all the instruments themselves on that song? But it sounded a bit crap, so they tried again with session musicians with much better results. Another way of recycling a hit is to sample or nick a song and just shout some rubbish over the top. The Fugees do it all the time. But our next artist has done it a little bit classier. It's a very saucy number by Lou Baker. He took the very famous Mambo Number no. 5, and Mambo's what people used to do before line dancing came along, and he sang a song over the top about how many ladies he'd shagged. Well, that started it. The girls came forward saying they're only being hired as dancers, his fiance called off the wedding, his mum told him he was adopted, Within three short days, his life was in tatters. Good. No one likes to show off. Anyway, watch out for this one, because the words come thick and fast. A bit like me and Lou. Our next sing-along comes courtesy of Spiller, with their surprise number one hit that pipped Posh Spice's solo single to the top slot. Fancy. After she'd hoard herself all round the British Isles trying to buy the favours of the Great Unwashed. A million quid in publicity money and marketing monkeys offering blowjobs to any punters who buy the single. Yeah, it just goes to show you that money can't buy you love and neither can it buy you a number one smash hit. Anyway, Posh is just another young mother with a rich husband. What's she want a job for? Here's Spiller. Perhaps this last song will bring back some happy memories for you. I know they do for me. I worked with the Spices a few months before they hit the big time. We were doing a road show around Humberside's premier hospital radios. I'd do half an hour of requests, and then the girls would come on stage, metaphorically speaking, to a huge pyrotechnic display. But we had to stop after a bit. It frightened some of the older patients. Well, it looks like old Father Times pipped us to the post. Still, can't change the laws of physics. Isn't it enough that I'm contravening Darwinian theory? I mean, I'm a fucking fish that talks, and you lot want time travel. Hope you look stupid singing your little hearts out, and if you had thin walls, I hope you woke up those miserable bastards next door. Fuck them and the Protestant work ethic. Till next time, this is DJ Vince Finn saying, follow your dreams. Unless they're those funny ones when you're back at school in your underpants.